All right, on the oil pumps on these small block Chevys, they just have a pressed in tube here. So it's always a good idea to spot weld that tube on because these things are, have been known to work yourself off. And the guy at the machine shop did that for me. He also put in a different spring in here to make it a higher pressure pump. So you got one bolt to hold this oil pump on. You always want to put this on first. And this has got a metal metal collar on it. It's just going to slide on here. And then you're going to stick your oil. It's going to stick down in here. In this hole. And then your oil pump will go on this. I don't believe it's a gasket. Now that's fall down, but it won't come off. It shouldn't come off anyway. It might drop down, but it'll come back. If you forget to put that on before you put the pump on, you will not be able to get your shaft, your oil pump shaft to your oil pump from the other end. Then you will end up running something. So we got this bolt goes in here. This bolt gets 65 foot pounds on it. Give us 65 foot pounds. <coughs> All right. Something I like to do is I like to pour a little oil in here. Just make sure I got oil in my pump. So I gotta get a little bit of oil. You don't have to put a whole lot. And I just got this 10W30 oil here. I just like to make sure it's, those gears have got oil on them. And now we are ready for the oil pan. Although I have got to clean up this surface. The surface has got a lot of oil on it down through here. So <coughs> get that surface cleaned up and we'll be ready to install the oil pan. Alright, so the first thing we got to put these pieces here on. One on the front, one on the back. All right, on the uh, oil pan gasket, I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I did on the timing cover. I'm gonna use some red because that's what I got in stock here and I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna lay me a bead down through here around these around these uh, where this gasket's going to lay and I'm going to especially put a bead around these areas right here on these corners and kind of raise this up a little bit where you can get right up in this area right here put you a good bead in and around that small bead down through here. And this one's just a little bit bent. It sit good in the packaging. thing I want to do is put more Get this thing sitting down on the gasket here we're gonna put some more right in here Now, 
you can put another bead across the top, but I don't really think it's necessary. I just from my experience, if you get it set in, it'll hold. Now on this cork, you really got to be careful not to over tighten it. But you will break that cork. And these big ones are studs. put the big ones in on the corners. Seven thirty seconds. This engine is the first one I ever seen that come with these pieces here for the oil paint. Y'all couldn't see a damn thing I was doing. Anyway, I'll give y'all a shot since I had to since I had this thing zoomed in where I'm at. Uh, anyway, I put these pieces here back on. That's just a little bracket that helps hold this thing down. These two right here, I'm not sure where they go. I'm gonna be sure you get some some RTV on top of the gasket right here. You can see it's on my finger. And I'll put this one down this side. So now all we gotta do is finish bolting it up and we shall be ready to uh, turn it over and probably tomorrow put the heads on. Fuel pump I've got to get. I can go ahead and put the rod in, get the cover on. Uh, yeah, so until then, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.